finding out what your local declination is is very simple. On most USGS topographical maps, there's a declination diagram in the bottom margin. If there's not, this is something that's really easy to just Google search and find the declination. Here in Colorado, we're dealing with about a 13 degree east declination. Now, 13 degrees out of 360 possible degrees might not seem like it's that big of a difference. And to be honest, for most day hikes or weekend trips, 13 degrees isn't that important. But if you're traveling long distances for a long time or you're in the far north where the declination is more extreme, then it's something that can add up over the miles and you can end up 100 miles off base of where you meant to. That's why we always account for declination, just to get in the habit of doing things right the first time. Here's how you account for declination. We'll start by placing the north number at 360 degrees. Now, because I have a 13 degree east declination, I'm going to turn the housing of my compass 13 degrees east from 360 to 347. Then I'll rotate my body and the compass until the magnetic north arrow is encased within the orienting arrow. Now I can see that true north is set at 347 degrees as opposed to 360. Accounting for declination might add an extra step to orienting the map, but it's a step that's well worth it. It's important to develop the habit of doing things right now so that if you ever find yourself in a situation where declination can really impact your experience, you're ready for it.